What's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go. And today we're about to discuss how insecurities can ruin relationships. Let's get it. So as far as these four principles that you have, mm -hmm. give me a scenario where you can help somebody deal with these four scenarios. Okay, boom. Well, these four principles. All right, so like I said, you got to think about yourself, mm -hmm. right? You got to think about how you manage self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to think about how you're managing yourself socially. So that's like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And you got to manage your relationships, right? Yeah. So a scenario. Mm, I'll give you a scenario. Okay, give me some. All right. Uh, my life sucks. My kids hate me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> Let me give you another part. And, oh, my baby mama hates me also. My kids hate me because my baby mama hates me. And okay. she keeps feeding my kids. This is a scenario, but mm -hmm, she right. keeps feeding my kids all this crap. So now my kids don't like me. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting into it with my supervisor at work okay. because I'm not happy with what my baby mama is doing. How do you feel? All right. So this person is dealing with a toxic relationship. They're dealing with a weak relationship with their children, mm -hmm. which is opposite of what they want. Okay. It sounds like they want a good relationship with their kids, but yeah. there's mm -hmm. that toxic relationship with the child's mother that is inhibiting that. So mm -hmm. that's a block. Yeah. Right. Then here's this here's the self-regulation piece. Here's okay. the self-management piece. He's then taking those emotions to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's not able to regulate them by separating. This is a work environment, mm -hmm. and my coworkers don't have to. Doesn't it go sideways? It does, but not really. Oh. No. See, <laughs> okay, you, you messing me up. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, go ahead, though. I'm okay, they're going to so turn, turn it. Yeah, they turn, y'all turn y'all on cameras. Okay. Um, so, listen. Mm -hmm. All right. So, they're, they're going to work, and they're pissed off. They're yelling at their coworkers. Mm -hmm. Supervisor's like, damn, dude, why you got an attitude? Mm -hmm. That attitude if the say the person is like, oh, my supervisor made me mad, mm -hmm. that's them denying their feelings. So mm -hmm. now they're not they're not not only are they not regulating their emotions well, but they're also not taking accountability to what's actually going on in their life. Right. So what I would do is I would help them kind of figure out that what they really want is a great relationship with their baby child's mother. Mm -hmm. What they really want is a great relationship with their children yeah. because at first people always think about what they don't have and all Ooh, the negative like that. things that are happening in their relationship like uh -huh. she always doing this she always doing that my kids blaming hate. that other person yes even the kids the my kids hate me mm -hmm. not there's something going on on the oh, that's so good. Are, are, you know what i'm saying yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. saying the relationship with my child's mother is bad yeah right he didn't say that. Right. He said, my kids hate my me. My kids hate me. My kids hate me. And my baby, mama, and my baby yeah. mama hate me. That's not taking So now I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a victim. Yes. I'm like, everybody hates me, and we I'm not taking accountability yeah. for my own stuff. It's so easy. Yeah. Right, And my right. supervisor, he getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. No, probably yeah. not. It's probably you coming in with that energy. And then yeah. bringing that fucking so energy. Dropping your kids yeah. off in that morning, right. and now you pissed off at everybody saying, mm -hmm. Safari pissed me off at the vending machine today. Right, right, right. She didn't right. do that. Yeah, it started. It started. <laughs> she it started, started at home. home. Started at home. Mm -hmm. You been trapping. You going to work mad. You, yes. you walking in mad, mm -hmm. looking at right. everybody, glaring at everybody. You yeah. know that. Exactly. Yeah. You going through your whole day, man. Right. So I help people figure out what it is they really want in life. Okay. So how would you help me in this scenario? This scenario? You broke it down eloquently. Right. Okay? right. So I would say, Aaron, what? I'll be direct. I'm very direct. Aaron, what do you really want? What would be your ideal relationship with your kids? Uh, I want my kids to love me, and I want me, my kids to respect me. Mm -hmm. When I tell them what to do, they don't do it, and I feel like they don't respect me, and it's because mm -hmm. my baby mama doesn't respect me. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. my manager doesn't respect me at work. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just want some just goddamn respect. respect. Yeah. So you're feeling really beat down by everyone around you. Mm -hmm. you you're feeling sometimes, you know, demasculated. By, demasculated, yes. Yeah, yes, by right. your current situation. Right. So what would make you feel better? I know that you want your kids to respect you. What would that look like? Um, like yeah, yeah, yeah. If my if I got paid more money, I think mm -hmm. my uh, my mm -hmm. kids and my baby mom will respect me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So are you tying finances 
your financial wealth to how you're being treated. Yes. In those relationships. Partly, yeah, because I'm late on child support. Now, first of okay. all, y'all know yeah, man, this man, is, man, is like more. But wait, do you see, there's yeah, yeah. already more unpacking. Yeah. You just yeah. said, now, now I'm late on child support. This is just a scenario. Support. This is not my life. <laughs> <laughs> but now there's there's always so many layers uh-huh. there. You just dug up something else. Mm-hmm. Now I'm late on child support. Mm-hmm. So now you're you're yeah. still. Right. Are you taking responsibility? So it sounds like to me she put me on child support. Okay. It sounds like to me you mad about the child support. She, you she are got, really upset. She don't put the <laughs> white folks in my in our business, and it's just not fair. So you feel out of control. Like I feel you don't out have of control. control over yeah. What's going on anymore? How do I fix this? I'm, I'm mm-hmm. mad. I'm angry. Okay. Well, first, I want to make sure that you're safe. Do you feel like you're going to go and beat somebody up right now? No. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't think I'm. Are you going to go uh, punch your supervisor tomorrow? Uh, no, no. Okay. I'm not right, violent. Cool. I'm not violent. <laughs> cool. That's the first step. Make mm-hmm. sure that you're not violent. Okay. All right. So, Aaron, <laughs> what, what do you need to do in order to, um, I want you, okay. So I like how she's even, breaking this down. This e- even, yeah. re- even rewind some. Uh-huh. You can have a better job. I would say, you know, you can have a better job. Mm-hmm. You can be off of child support. Mm-hmm. But is that going to be the sole thing to help your kids respect you? Mm-mm. I would say it would make me feel better about myself. Okay. Because if I make more money, mm-hmm. I feel more as a man. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to challenge you even more. Outside of finances, uh-huh. what else in life, say take money out of factor, mm-hmm. what else in life will help Aaron feel better about himself? If I knew that I was safe within my own skin, mm-hmm. and a lot of that comes from finances, for, for any mm-hmm, man, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, um, from a societal standpoint, we need to feel like not only are we safe, but we have the capability of making others feel safe. Right. And I know you're trying to get away from the finances, mm-hmm. but a lot of that, that comes from not just finances, but mm-hmm. purpose. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. if I got a dead right. end job and it's just paying the bills and I'm not pay- getting paid that much money. Yeah. I don't have any purpose and I'm not making any money. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cuz so to be honest with you, not to go away from yeah, yeah. what I'll you're saying. At a lower, lower level. Yeah. Yeah. Lower level. A lot yeah. of it, a lot of it, not all mm-hmm. of it right. comes from the fact that I'm living a purposeless life and not making any money yeah. in this purposeless life. So you don't feel valued. I don't feel valued. In right. your own skin. In you don't feel skin. like you're making an impact. Right. You feel like, yeah. you know, you're losing out. Mm-hmm. You feel yeah. like, but but what I also feel like is that what I hear you saying is mm-hmm. there's more that I can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if I can hear yeah. as an emotional coach that mm-hmm. the person is saying that there's more than I can do, mm-hmm. then we have something to grab onto. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and then I, I can be like, Okay, what what can you tell me? What you can do? Um, what can you do in your everyday? I can get a second job. Okay. You know. I Does can, that work with your schedule and all that? You can get a second job. Yeah, I can. It, it, anything is possible. I'll go okay. back to school. You know. Yeah. Go back to school. I can go back to school. Pick up a trade. I can pick up a trade. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I go. Yeah. I, so I can do some things. Yeah. Okay. Do you get them some type of personality like survey, like what they would be good at? Because mm-hmm. some people like. Think they yeah. want to do something. <laughs> it's called an interest exam. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Exam. It's called an interest because, exam. You know, some people have outlandish things, like they've been wanting to be a rapper for like their whole life, <laughs> and it's like they're 45. Like, you yeah. need to be realistic. Right, 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 right. right. So, interest and skill exams measure what your interests are, and they mm-hmm. measure what your skills are. Okay. So, they take your skills and your interests, they mm-hmm. put them together and try to see what jobs would be accommodating. Right, and right. I'm able to do that as Look, that's my shoulders off. <laughs> <laughs> With my master's degree, mm-hmm. I'm also like a vocational specialist. Yeah. So then that ties into work. And you are you hit it dead on the head. Like you cannot help people um, with their emotions until you make sure that their house is stable. Right. That's that's where the emotions like, that's, exactly. that's what it is. That's right. what that's where it comes from. Is that if the house is shaky, the foundation is shaky. You can't then, tell nobody about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But then, we, then we but, it's a, but a lot yeah. of women fake fake it to make it though. Men right. do too. Men yeah, too. Right. Yeah. 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 Who, who does it the most though? Yeah. Who, who do it the most? You always want to do it. Who, who does that the most? <laughs> I don't know. Women. I feel like both men and women. Fake it. I think we all do. Yeah. It don't matter. Everybody Shoot. act, walk around, act like they good. Everybody, especially yeah. black people. Well, yeah. we, oh, that's a question I have for you. Where does that stem from? Where do you think is that childhood rooted? I mean, you know, that's why I come It's in a at. cultural thing. Mm. That attaches. Go ahead. Oh no, I think everything that we do, say, think, 
and believing comes from our childhood. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, when you think about when you think about childhood, it's it 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 does it does a it changes a it changes overall it changes your whole way of looking at your life when you just think about what your mom did, what your dad right. did, or what your mom didn't do, and what your dad didn't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I was just talking to someone about an hour ago about how um, she was telling me how she doesn't necessarily want to do do videos, right? She wants to do more videos, mm -hmm. but she's just like, ah, I don't want anybody to judge me, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I asked her, I said, okay, what don't you want them to judge you about? Mm -hmm. Is it your face, your nose, your voice? Mm -hmm. Is it what you're saying? Mm -hmm. And she says, I don't know. I said, you don't know? And then at, at, at right then she was like, well, actually, my mom just always taught me that before you go outside that door, or in this situation, go on video. a video, mm -hmm. you got to make sure you got your stuff together, mm -hmm. right? And having your stuff together can mean differently for different people. And sometimes you can sit here and overthink on whether, like, is other people thinking I have my stuff together mm -hmm. versus do I feel like I have my stuff together? Right, yeah, that's so good. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah, next yeah. thing you know, I went a little farther and I said, is it a possibility that your mom is part of the reason why you can't do videos? Mm -hmm. She's teaching you, she's giving you bad information. She's telling mm -hmm. you you have to have your quote unquote stuff Man. together before you can walk out the door. Yeah. Now you're overthinking before you walk out the door, before you do a video, mainly because of the bad information that, that was fear. fed to you. That fear. Your, yeah. your parent that fear. fed you fear, yeah. and now you're an adult, and you're mm -hmm. still dealing with this fear mm -hmm. that you didn't even realize you had. Yeah. And she was like, yo, yeah, wow. Yeah. You that, know? That's that cultural thing. Yeah. We were even just like with when I went into the corporate world. I remember when I first started rocking my natural in corporate, mm -hmm. my mom was like, Girl. Oh, my mama hating that. She hates she hate, she this weekend. Now my mom loves hate. her natural hair, by the way. My mom still don't like it. She... out and everything. Okay. Okay. Mama not do it. But when I first started doing it, <laughs> she was like, okay, all right. Like, the, these pe these folks is not going to like it. These folks. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, See what I'm yeah. saying? These people mom. not going to like it. And I'm not just trying to pee on mom. moms <laughs> or whatever. But a lot of times that, you know, our programming, our yeah. issues. Insecurities. Insecurities. Yeah. But comes she, from the shit down, that our though. mom and oh, yeah, dad it's definitely true. Told. It's her mom too. It's yeah. her mom too. It's her mom. Yeah. Sorry, I need to stop, Rah, I need to stop with you though. You need to stop with you. What insecurities yeah. are you giving your kids? Mm -hmm. From your insecurities mm -hmm. right. that yeah. you yeah. haven't dealt with. Exactly. Yeah. Right? I have to change some of my talk about myself mm -hmm. so my kids won't have it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. exactly. So what are you doing to yeah. correct those insecurities? Right. You know? yeah, Self-talk is it's it's huge. It's major. You can talk yourself out of everything. Yeah, I did a video. <laughs> I did a I did a video about that woman who who was like, she was like a psychologist or whatever, and she talked about how um, some things stem from slavery. And I don't really like talking about slavery, but that's what the yeah, woman was talking about, <laughs> right? She was talking about in the video, and she I said that um, some mothers would tell other people that their kids are bad. Like, you know what? You know, uh, my my son is so bad. You know, like he he yeah. he sold this, he sold that. Oh yeah. And what she may not realize is back in slavery days, the reason or this what what where this actually came from as far as calling your kid bad all the time, mm -hmm. it stemmed from to a certain extent, back in slavery, when a woman was raising a young boy and he's running around pulling up all this cotton and doing all this other stuff, right? Mm. And the slave owner walks over and says, wow, your son is a scrapping young man. The first thing the mom looks at and says, oh no, but he's dumb as I don't know what though. He's bad. Mm. He, he can't think right. So yeah, he's mm. strong, but you don't want him just okay. to keep him from yeah, selling his son off to another slave owner. Yeah, so you know it, I mean? went, it just kept going down. Yeah, down, so down, it slowly down. turns into a culture of, oh, my son, bad. Oh, my daughter, so, she's so bad. Yeah. And you, you don't even bad. know why you're, mm -hmm. you're saying this. And next thing you know, you got grown men and women running around. They're insecure, right. and they don't want to do videos, or they don't want to do this, and they don't want to mm -hmm. step outside of their comfort zone. What did you tell them? Mainly because 
of the insecurities our parents fed us. Right. Yeah. I'm Which having issues so with my little, um, with my my youngest, um, and you know, people saying you bad, he's bad, he's this, he's that, or whatever. He has, went through a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. Um. So this week I was like, okay, you want you going back to daycare? Um. So is that you know he he got on to him. He said he said what he said. He was strict with him. Okay, that's a disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. I said so. Mm -hmm. Let me speak life into my son before you go into this class. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said you are a good boy. Mm -hmm. I love and I said, repeat after me. You are a good boy. I'm a good boy. Mm -hmm. You are a good boy. I'm a good boy. What do good boys do? Mm -hmm. I said, what do good boys do? He said, um, they be good. And I said, mm -hmm. to who? My friends. I said, you have friends in there. And I said, yeah. don't hit them. Yeah. That's not nice. Wow. Is that nice? Yeah. yeah. And I just was talking to him and I was excited. And I was just yeah. like, you know, and I wanted him to match my, and mirror yeah. my excitement. Right, I, said, right. I said, they love you. Mm -hmm. You love them? I love them. He got in there and hooked everybody. Oh, he had, he's been, he's got to make me cry. Oh, yeah, my God. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't even know what that is. Oh, you know, my. I, but every day God. this week, don't you know I do oh, positive affirmations with my kids? I, yeah. do, I do healing sound bowl with my kids. Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I, do, I, do, I do a lot of positive <laughs> stuff know. because I'm just like, I, I am not going to raise angry boys. Yes. yes. And I'm you not how many boys? Three boys. Three boys. Yes. boys. I'm, yes. the, I'm not like a baby, but and I am. Anyway, <laughs> had him at 10. I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but he's been having issues. Yeah. Um, and I just, I just said, just remember that. Yeah. If, even if you might do something bad, it's okay. Just keep remembering you are a good boy. Right. Yeah. You are a good boy because it's been so many issues and, and, and society uh, mm -hmm. is not easy on the black man or the mm -hmm. black boy. Right. So what do you, what you're speaking to your kids at home is going to yeah. transfer to the classroom as well. Yes. And anywhere they into go. Into the world. Into yes. the world. Yeah. Because sometimes um, it's important for uh, a man or a woman or a boy and a girl to realize that they did something bad. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. Yeah, they did, they did something, something stupid. Yes. They're not stupid. No, you know we all do stupid things, but it doesn't mean that we're stupid. Right, it's not we're not bad your people. Intelligence. We right. just did some stupid shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and a Maybe lot of times, decision. it's okay to do stupid shit because when you do something stupid, you learn. Something. You learn something. Mm -hmm. So actually, go do some stupid shit. Yeah, just don't have a baby, don't go to jail, and don't get killed. Yeah, <laughs> don't make a life, don't lose a life, <laughs> and don't uh. Unfree your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, don't do some stupid shit. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yes. You're, you're only human. You're, you're only, only human. human. Mm -hmm. Right. And humans, guess what humans do? Mm -hmm. Stupid shit. Y'all know uh, Grownish? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shahid? Yeah. So mm -hmm. she just said on the interview that she likes playing the character that she plays because the girl's only a year older her, mm -hmm. older than her, and she gets to do dumb shit that mm -hmm. younger kids people her age get to usually do without yeah, yeah. actually doing it. Right, so, right. like, it's an episode where um, the character is taking Adderall or whatever. Mm -hmm. She was like, I would never do that. Right. But it was cool playing it because right. it's like she got to have that experience out of her system yeah, as yeah, a young yeah, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she would yeah. never really do that. But right, you know, right, right. Yeah, it's yeah, about, yeah. She, so she just basically expressed that I get to learn about being that young college person uh -huh. without being that young college. I get this. You do you stupid know. shit without yeah, worrying know. about, yeah. yeah Let me does. tell y'all a quick story about Adderall. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what I he, he said his stories. You don't know door. what. I done opened a whole door. <laughs> All right, what is your Adderall story? Oh, look, Instagram, y'all going to have to listen to the podcast to hear this story it's about like Adderall. It. What? Hold up. To the podcast. Yeah, I got this to podcast. podcast. Okay. Well, I ain't got many people watching, so y'all can. <laughs> okay. So, um, one time I was talking to this this young lady, right, and she was telling me she was like in college, right, mm -hmm. and she said everybody takes Adderall. I got to take Adderall in order to in order to keep up. You know, I got all these things going on, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I literally lied to her and I said, "Well, something you may not know about Adderall." She said, "What?" I said, "It kills your skin cells." Oh my god. <laughs> Why and I just, did he do that? And I just left what? it out there like that. And she started <laughs> thinking. And I just stopped talking. And she was like, skin cells. So that means my, what's going to happen to my skin? I said, probably another year or so, you're going to probably start Not looking like you're like 50. Not a year. And she was like, you serious? I said, yeah. She was like, oh This is why you do your research. Now, no, but the thing about it is, now, she was... she's forced to weigh two things against each other. The ability to not be anxious and, and to study harder mm -hmm. or turn around and lose her good looks. Because mm -hmm. she was a pretty young girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hopefully she doesn't Google what Adderall actually does and it 
helps her get off of Adderall. You know that, that's what you <laughs> Well, yeah, I, that was my hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she's like, you know, I'm not taking this shit no more. Let me just figure it out. Let me just yeah. get enough sleep so I won't need Adderall, Adderall, you know? And let me just work. Instead of waiting until the last minute, because a lot of college students, they wait until the last minute and they stay up to like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Instead of just getting enough sleep and spending their whole day studying so they can get the test, they well, try to do all this life. other stuff. Give me a whole different, whole different ball game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a whole different. I'm, I'm not going back. My girlfriend, shout out to Chimmy. She's getting her doctorate right now. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she is working very hard on that doctorate. I mean, she don't sleep. Oh, she my got goodness. a job. You, you have a research lab. You're taking, you know, six, seven courses, Oof. and then you can't get lower than a B. Oh once you start getting to that higher education, you can't yeah. get lower than a B or a C. Mm-hmm. So it ain't imagine. no retaking. And if you have to <laughs> retake, no if you have to retake something twice, they'll drop you. They're like, you're not ready for this PhD program, and oh. they don't care about how you eat. Yeah. So like me, I had to work my way through my mm-hmm. master's degree. So I would mm-hmm. leave class. I had three jobs at one time. Ooh. And you talking about three jobs? Three jobs, three jobs and I was in school. Yes, Ooh, I had an life. internship. I worked at um, the Office of Disability Services at mm-hmm. Georgia State, and I was a waitress on top of schoolwork. What Good sleep? Lord. I was mm-hmm. barely taking showers. Why you, why you <laughs> just, why you I was just, barely like, taking showers. I didn't care. Strip or something instead of three no. jobs. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I would. If I ain't had three kids, I'd be like, I'm in love with a I beer. know, right? Something happened. Shit. Shit. Baby, you in Atlanta too, baby. Sell some ass down there. You know what? Make you quit. I ain't got the gym. You going to strip? You going to strip? Nah. It ain't for you? Nah, nah. <laughs> do some strip, like, like, no, like no. you know. I don't, you can't do a little, you know, no, a little no, 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 do some strip. That's that's different because no. <laughs> they say no. They say no. It's always because it's like this like, dude man. out in the audience like, oh my goodness, no, nah, I ain't got time for it's that. It's a whole bunch it's of men dropping D I C K for some coins. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So, no. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all can go strip, but I don't know about that. Y'all, no, because always some dude. Yeah, no. mm. I already told y'all how my yeah, mama okay. was about me wearing natural hair in corporate. I mm. could only imagine. Like, what do like mama not? gonna know? Who tells their mama that they strip? My sister did. Yo, what? She's well, my sister did. Yeah, she did. Because oh, wow. she, she did for 15 years. Okay, that's two questions. One, why did right? Like, why did how did she did your mom pull rolled up in the strip strip club and like oh damn, no, hey, she dog. came she ran away from home when she came home she was uh. a stripper she told her mom a stripper she had that suitcase for the strip club. Oh and damn, you can't hide the stripper clothes, right? No, but she let her live in the house. Huh? She, your no, mom like let her. Yeah, let she her came in. Well, she came in just to tell her that she was a stripper. And she left. Oh, was that spiteful? <laughs> was she it being, was. Okay, she was it being. Was. She was being like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My next question is, why the hell did she strip for 15 years? That's a long time. She married the game, I guess. Some people be Let married. me tell y'all something about You know what? I might bring on the podcast. Then. We'll see. Let me tell y'all something I'll about strippers. Ask her. <laughs> ask her. I, I, got, I got some advice. I, I got some advice for the strippers that they can use, like, right now. What can I do? Right. I was in a strip club, right? And I literally, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine. I was like, yo, man. All these dudes, because you can kind of tell who has money and who doesn't, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, dudes, you can tell, yeah, right? You know, kind of. And I'm like, yo, be flexing. instead of just sitting in this dude's lap, just smiling and, and just, you know, entertaining him, mm-hmm. to a certain degree, all she has to do is say, hey, what do you do? And get the guy talking, right? Mm-hmm. And find out what he actually does. And try to incorporate that into your life. And if it's something that you can possibly see yourself getting into, like mm-hmm. real estate or, you know, whatever, I sell this, you know, mm-hmm. something like that, right? And you can easily just sit on a slap and say, you know what? I'm looking to start my own business. It's, it's funny you say that. I'm actually looking to do that, too. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, the guy's going to be like, oh, really? Yeah. Then that you... you Put your titties in his face real quick. You know what I'm saying? See, boom, that's boom. where the line is. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't but do no, both. No. You can't do but, both. And then the dude is like, so, so. He's talking about, he's, he's talking about get the plug. Yeah, he so next thing you know, he's going to be like. so he's going to want to get plugged in, in the bathroom. Well, you can job. get plugged, but the thing about it is, because I'm just, I'm just being honest. The dude is going to be like, so tell me more. Yeah. Tell you me more. know, and you know, whether you have a plan or not, you can simply just say, yo, I just don't know. I don't know how to get to yeah. the next step. I just need help. Mm-hmm. And when a when an entrepreneur hears another person mm-hmm. saying I need help yeah. and I need some ideas, 
that dude is going to look at you not just like a stripper, but a possible person that they can invest in. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then go home with them, sleep with them, or oh do whatever. You cannot do both. Do whatever Aaron. you got to do. do cause, both. Yes, you can. Because the bottom line is, this man is willing, possibly willing to invest in a dream that you may have, mm-hmm. and he can change your life. You know how many women? Or I'm, he just, just wanted to get some cookies for the night. Yeah. But at the end yeah. of the day, yeah. imagine how much information that woman is going to get. Because the conversation is going to be 99% mm-hmm. what? Your business. How we can do this, how we can do that. So the little time that stripper is with that guy, whether he cares or not, he's going to spit out information. Right. So it's up to her to whether she's going to pocket that information or not. So she can Which would be pretty smart. She can either pocket information or pocket money. Mm -hmm. And uh, $600 Mm -hmm. or $900, Mm -hmm. that ain't going to do shit for you. You still Some in the strip club the next time. To the money, though. Mm-hmm. I feel um, you. Some right. of them are that's what that's what happened. My sister, because um, she went from Memphis to uh, te- uh, Texas, mm-hmm. and um, we just lived two totally different lifestyles. But yeah. um, she was making a lot of money, thousands oh, yeah, a night. Texas, uh, Texas yeah, trip. thousands a night. And then trip, she moved trip. to Atlanta, and mm-hmm. then you know she's a mom and all this, so she's just basically she stopped doing it um because she moved here she was like sis i want to change my life mm-hmm. yeah so you know she stopped doing it um you know and yeah but, and then atlanta she came to atlanta she said it was way too much competition she was like 36 trying to do it and it's mm-hmm. like 18 year olds right 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 yeah. like you mm-hmm. know in there like fresh out the wound you know yeah you know, she tight, fresh tight. out the wound <laughs> tight um but men would buy her cars pay all her bills um mm-hmm. you know then she'd pocket all that money but uh she didn't have really good money management skills right so she you know has no record of that money right now that's yeah. what i'm saying that, but no, i have seen her friends she no has ideas friends. yeah she has friends that i know uh one uh several one is like a doctor <laughs> Mm-hmm. One is a, a nurse practitioner. One is a uh, has her own um, tax franchise. Yeah. So they were all in the same group. So mm-hmm. it's not uh it's not your circumstances all the time. Yeah. It's what you yeah. get out of it. She, maybe she spoke to a man that mm-hmm. that, that pulled her out. Mm-hmm. Um. But it's and some went for the money to pay for school. Yeah. So so it's people can have the same circumstances, but it's what mm-hmm. you do in in the situation. It's that, that inner drive. You know, it's that inner drive. Yeah. It's that inner drive, and um, you know, and you have to believe in yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, right. you have to do that. And I'm not going to woman who does that. I don't care what you do. I'm not going to judge right. you. If you got to yeah. feed your kids and you got a bad body, you need to go out there and shake a tail feather. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you got to do. Mm-hmm. Just shake what your mama gave you, baby. Because if I had to, I would. You hear mm-hmm. me? But I don't have to. Thank God for my health. <laughs> <laughs> She's a business I went, I'm a business right. woman. I went to college. Oh, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. But if you have to do it, ain't no shame in the game, baby. Mm-hmm. All I'm you saying to, to the ladies who, just period, ladies, period. Not just women who strip, but women, period. Do it for the ideas and not the money. Mm-hmm. Because money, to a certain extent, does not exist anyway. It's just a goddamn piece of paper. Mm-hmm. You know, just like this. this, 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 this. It's just like a goddamn piece of paper. But an idea, you can turn an idea into millions. millions. You know? Mm-hmm. Or either you can sell an idea for millions. Yeah. You don't have to turn that idea into millions. You can let somebody else turn it. Just sell the idea to somebody, you know? Yeah. So... If, if you want to shake your ass, sell your ass, stop doing that and trade your ass for ideas. Because your ass is worth something, but ideas that you get back is worth a lot more. Because at the end of the day, like we all know, like y'all saying, your ass is going to, to, to start falling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you keep trying Move to get, get money... <laughs> And think about Stop money. Falling. Money is deteriorating also, right? Yeah, right. You know, money isn't, you know, inflation is going up. Mm-hmm. So the money that you are making, no matter what we do right now, the money we're making right now at some point is not going to be enough. Yeah. Right. So if you run around trading ass for money, both things are deteriorating at the same rate. Facts. That's a good one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like that. <laughs> I like it. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm out here. Dropping bars. That was definitely a bar. I turned into a whole rapper. You know, you got to shake it. You shake it. You give it what your mama gave you. And he over here dropping bars. Hey. Hey. Like, let it go literally. podcast. I know. Over here. Y'all is very lit tonight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah what yeah. was you trying to talk it. about, Aaron? Okay. Because uh, I know you had some things you wanted to talk about. I know. Aaron got some, some, on. some topics. All right, Facebook. Y'all going to have to look at the rest of the, um, listen to the podcast. So I got to jump off of y'all. Hey, so I got my notes. Hold on, y'all. I'm jumping off Facebook. Yeah, it's gonna be... All right. Okay. So. What, like, go back? Yeah. So I posted a video um, uh, earlier this morning, right? It's my favorite couple. And it was about. Uh, I should have came here. Um, 
Continue. Podcast. Oh, yeah, Let It Go Podcast, yeah. So I posted a video about Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys, and Swiss Beats ex-wife, right? Yeah. Now, when it first came on, it was about how the ex-wife, all she can do, she was all on Twitter, she was doing in it, radio interviews. Mm -hmm. She was either she was even on some uh, love and hip-hop type of show. I forgot what show it was. But all she can do is complain about how Alicia Keys took her husband, right? Right. How she ain't shit and she, 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 right? I remember that. But not one time did she say anything about Swiss Beats. Oh, yeah. Right? Because he's the one who left her for... Blaming a, blame a woman. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So my question is to you, you two, what does blaming help a woman do? Because I'm not saying blame, <laughs> I'm not going to say blame, men don't blame, mm -hmm. but it seems to me that women blame way more than men. And it's not about who does what more, right. but I just want to know, why do women seem to blame all the fucking time? I want her to take this, because I've been in that situation. Okay. Well, yeah. you go. Okay. Well, I, I think I blamed another woman before because it felt better to not look at myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I, I could have done better, because I thought I did everything right. Um, mm, why did you think you did eyes, everything right? Why? Because because I was like handling the bills. This is my this is my kids at. Mm -hmm. I was um doing everything. I I, I was supposed to cook. I had, he had a hot meal ready every day. I was mm -hmm. a perfect, yeah. you know, fiance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, taking care of the kids. But um, you know, he wasn't coming home. Like he mm -hmm. wasn't, you know, right. coming to me like he was supposed to. I'm just like, you know, I'm here, but you're not, you're not, you mm -hmm. know, you're not seeing me. So I'm right, like. Right. You know, and and so once I found out about the whole situation, um, had her, had the lady on the phone and told her about everything. She 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 was like, "Wow, okay, this this now I'm thinking that he's gonna the other woman." Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Well, I figured it out. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that was like the second time. I guess I got you know, right? with the same it. person. Right. So yeah, happened? I figured it out. Um, so um, he I basically let him go. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but I people asked me what happened. I was like, "Yeah, she knew about. I told her about us." And she still took him in and mm -hmm. into her home, and and I was blaming her, but I was blaming him too. But I still blamed her because right. I was yeah. like, she shouldn't have accepted him, <clears throat> knowing he had a whole family, right? And yes. it, you know, yeah. um, and so I mean, I think it just felt good to say, oh, okay. And then I was like, yeah, I look better, you know, you know, we compare mm -hmm. ourselves, you know, because it's, right. it's just a, yeah, it's just a thing women it's do. Ego thing. It's mm -hmm. an ego thing, but mm -hmm. in our actuality, um, it was it, it should have been him. I was blaming him myself for allowing that right. behavior. Or okay, let's. What do you think first? Um, I think it's really about taking, not taking accountability for yourself. Okay. Like, even when you are the the wife or, you know, the other person outside the relationship, it's about accountability for yourself. So it's like, what conversations did I not have in my relationship to make sure that these things didn't happen? Mm -hmm. What questions did I not ask directly Mm -hmm. That I didn't have to go and search and find something from. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what, what, um, what, who didn't I bring to the table or mm -hmm. what, what things did I not do? Right. To right. make right. sure that, and I'm not too much. <laughs> or, and, and you know, I'm not even just talking about like us as women, you know, like, like you said, mm -hmm. cooking, making sure the family is right. I'm talking about like, Internally, like, what did I not do? Like, was I being a good listener? Was I listening efficiently? Mm. Yeah. You, know, so far, you, say, you, you know that's the big I one know, right I, there. I've Women don't seem that. to listen to us. And what that's or big. how supportive yeah. was I, or how supportive was I not? Right. So, and and I think it goes on both sides. Mm -hmm. Like, for the man, they got to take accountability. What conversation did I not have? What values am I really breaking? Because that's the yeah. thing. That's the big Ooh, thing. That's big. Okay, that what is the biggest thing. What values? Am I breaking? So if like, you don't have any values, yeah. or if you don't have yeah. any values, have I voiced that and to the people that, that I'm sleeping with? Mm. Do the partners that I know that that commitment is not something that I value? Right. Yeah. Have I said right. that to all right. parties? Yeah. You know, did you say that from <clears throat> to, to me in the beginning? Now, mm -hmm. if you tell me commitment isn't something I value, not saying that I don't want us to be in a relationship. I'm just letting you know that I don't value commitment. Bet. Now, mm -hmm. I already know. You, you don't value commitment. You don't value you commitment. Well, but, at, but at least I'm not going to get myself hurt. Yeah. Or, right, there's yeah. just, it's just clear communication. I love and it. that's just yeah. what it is. And truthfully, like, uh, through that whole year, it was on and off and craziness. You know, we was together. He kept telling me, I don't want to be with you. Mm -hmm. He kept saying, I don't want to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. He kept saying, 
you do you and you go okay, I'm gonna do him. But what but I, I wasn't doing me. I was like, I'm trying to be with you, I'm trying to be a family. You know, I had this baby with him, yeah, you know, had another baby with him, you know. So mm-hmm. but he kept telling me that's what he wanted, so guess what? I should have just been like, Okay, let him now, go. I'm here yeah. like Spongebob. I should have yeah. been like this. Yeah, but but we also have ideas that we have we hold on to and you do value family. I value and family because my value... family was a broken family. So right. I, I wanted to I and that's another reason why women try to hold things together because they right. don't want they don't want it to look like what they've been through already. Right. 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 So you try and it's to okay to value family. Yeah, but you, you can't force your narrative on another person. Yeah. yeah. You know you that those are your values. Exactly. If you don't and have just the like same you values, said, then, just yeah. like you said, like when you get with somebody, start dealing with somebody, you guys have to have the same values, mm-hmm. you know. Because if he doesn't value family the way you value family, he may be he, he may be inclined to just get up and say, "I don't want to do this shit no more" because it's hard. Right. But somebody who values family may say, "Yo, this is hard, but I value family, mm-hmm. therefore so I'm going to I'm gonna stay mm-hmm. and I'm going to work and right. I'm going to do the work." Yeah. Because like yeah. you said, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. So any relationship takes work. Go mm-hmm. going back to the emotional coaching thing and the emotional intelligence thing. Relationship management. Mm-hmm. That's the last pillar and the last skill because it's the hardest one. Come on, pillar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest one. Mm-hmm. Like the relationship. When is book, when is book coming out? Like what the heck? I know. Soon. I'm. I've been motivated by him. Yeah. Oh you know, yeah. Aaron. Is. Aaron is. He is a. He's a goat. Hey, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So. Yeah. The way I look at it, I just want to really piggyback on what you said, because you, mm-hmm. you really said all, a lot of this stuff um, already. Um, I look at, instead of just why, like, why did he cheat or why did she cheat? Mm-hmm. You got to look at the when, where, how, and what, right? Mm-hmm. So the first one would be when. When did things change? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Then the next is what. What is it that either I'm doing wrong or what did you see in the other person that you didn't see in me? Mm-hmm. And then how is, how did we get here? Mm-hmm. Like, how? How, and then how do we go from here? You know, how do we make this better? What's the next step? You know? If that's what we want to do. Right. And then where is, where am I versus where I was? Mm-hmm. You know, like, have I changed and I don't see it? You know what I mean? Like, am I just you know awareness, self awareness? Self awareness. Because okay. some people may say, sure. some people may say, man, I just wish things were the way they used to be. Mm-hmm. So where are we now mm-hmm. versus How where far we are you used, from where to used to be? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you mean who you used to be? Right, right. And that's a, and that's the last one. Not, and you just can't get yeah. back there. And the last one is who? Mm-hmm. You know, like you said, Safari. Who am I? Mm-hmm. Now versus who I was. You should mm-hmm. be somebody different. You should always evolve and be, and be better. But yeah. how? It's like, but the who would be like, okay, do you like the who I am now? Mm-hmm. Who I've evolved into? Mm-hmm. Is it somebody you like or is it somebody you hate? Yeah. And once mm-hmm. you break those things yeah, down, yeah. you'll be able to find the why mm-hmm. he cheated. Yeah. yeah. But it's a lot of unpacking. Mm-hmm. Not saying it is okay yeah. or it's your fault that a man cheated. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. But you have to go way past the, oh, why did he cheat? I mean, a man you know will tell you why. A man will tell you, tell you. And a lot of times, it's, it's simple. I don't want to be with your ass no more, and you won't listen, so, because... Oh, I wanted some new ass. <laughs> to be, to be honest with you, to Basically. be honest with you, it's, it's usually bigger than I wanted some new ass. If I want some new ass, I'm just going to break up with you. And then I don't give a damn, you. and I'm going to get back with you, because you ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> I break up with you and get with some other chicks and do what I'm doing or whatever, <laughs> And six months. You ain't gonna have no new boyfriend. I was just watching this thing about it was You're a panel sitting of men, waiting on me. Right? And they are <laughs> they are emotional you. cheaters too. Yes, they you love are. To say we women all are, are emotional te- cheaters. We all that's what I'm love saying. to say women are emotional saying. cheaters. But men I wanna fuck another girl is not usually why. Why is it usually though? I just said, that's what I'm saying. Oh. oh, okay. Wait, wait. No, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I was saying. No, I'm like, when he said, I'm like, sorry. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're right, so. Look, you're right, so. Look, so the reason why a man would cheat is mainly because we don't get hurt. All right? Mm. Say, Let's say a person instead of versus man or women because women cheat. Tell me, I do. I, I don't. I can, I can only speak for men. All right. So <laughs> me and you were together, right? 
Mm-hmm. And say I like intimacy, right? Yes. And say you are you ha- you fear intimacy without mm-hmm. even knowing it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The way you were raised. Remember, we talk about belief system and how how right. what we value, right? Right. Say I value intimacy. You mm-hmm. don't value intimacy. Mm-hmm. Say because you've been raped or you've been through something or yeah. abused or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you don't really allow men or anybody else get that close to you, right? Right. So we can have sex. We do this, but you're not really up under me, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And say my belief system is. I love to have a woman up under me. Love it. So we started meeting each other. We started dating. And everything was so dope. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like just didn't really say anything with the fact about the fact that we weren't as intimate, intimate as, as I wanted, wanted right? You but it. everything, but sex is good. The conversation yeah. is good. The vibe is good. So it is what it is, right? So internally, you was like, I mean, and, I can deal with it. Right, I can deal right. with it. But it begins to be an issue. Right, mm-hmm. because it's annoying. Right, it starts to get annoying. It starts to get annoying. Mm-hmm. Right, in Aaron's words. Right, the dopamine, <laughs> the right. dopamine starts to go down. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, so I'm stop. I'm not looking at your ass and your titties and, and your pretty face and your laugh as much. Mm-hmm. Now I'm mm-hmm. starting actually listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth right. and seeing your mannerisms because mm-hmm. the dopamine has went down. Now the fog has left me. The fog. I'm actually <laughs> seeing you as a person. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. so now I'm looking at her like yo. Like, and then I asked you one time, like, yo, why aren't you as intimate as as, mm-hmm. as you should be, right? In my mind, right? Mm-hmm. And you like, oh, I, okay, I, be, I can be more intimate. Knowing you lying because you don't right. want to be that because you That's fear intimacy, right? Right. So you just say a little something to appease me. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, you're not, right? Yeah. As a man, I'm not going to ask you twice or never the third time because mm-hmm. then I'm going to look like a little bitch. Then you're going to be like, damn, what kind of he dude He a little bitch. I? Yeah. He a little bitch. Then you're going to look, because there's a possibility you're going to look at me like, that's my man, like, damn, why does this dude always come up and hold me? He always crying. He intimate. That's a girl. He always crying. Yeah, he always crying. He always crying. He always crying. When I get out the shot, he want me to hold him. Yeah, like, damn. He on my neck. Is this thing a baby or something? Like, god damn, I want a man, you know? He's on my titty. I'm just trying to hold him. Yeah, so next thing you know, to keep that from happening, I'm not going to say nothing, right? Yeah. And at some point, I'm going to search for that intimacy somewhere else with Keisha. And what's going to happen is you're going to go to the club. Say so you go to the strip club with your boys, and mm. some stripper come wrap around mm. your neck like uh, this. Yeah. Or get close. Get or, close. Or one of your yes. homegirls come and give you a hug. Yes. And she get yes. all close like this, and you be uh-huh. like, damn, I forgot what that felt like. I forgot how that Ooh, felt like. I forgot what that felt like. It's that's yes. why it's important up front to let a person know what you want. But sometimes but we don't thing. know what we but want. But this is though. my thing. That's you have to learn it. You okay, did, what you didn't do uh-huh. is take accountability for the fact that you only try, well, you said that men will probably only say something once. They may not say Maybe it. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Yeah. But my thing is that's ego. How's that ego though? That is straight not, ego. not saying, okay, because I said, I read something the other day, so you got to say something three times for someone to actually hear you. Yeah. And not only times. just Seven say times. it three times, you got to say it three different ways yeah. for them to get what uh, you're saying. You <laughs> and, now. Okay. And okay. if they okay. do not, and if they don't paraphrase it or repeat uh-huh. it back to you uh-huh. the way that you said it to them, they didn't, they didn't hear even you. hear you. Mm. So if you say, oh, I'm repeat the only going to so what did I say? What so did I what say? say? What? Oh. Hello? What did I say? Exactly. So repeat it, that. I do this to my son. Repeat that. Wait, what so I let's did. play this out real quick. Yeah. I, can, <laughs> can, I, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. What's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going what? on? Like, Sorry, I'm sure. Why not? Like that. Hi, what's hey, Sharon. Can you please uh, answer a question for me? That was Ari right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's me. That's Ari right there. That's Ari. Yeah. No, I was, trying to think, I was trying to think of a white name. like, uh, uh, But, um... Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yo, Ari, I just want to know, like, like, you just really aren't that as intimate as I would want you to be. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Can we just, like, cuddle a little bit more? Okay, so let me not be. First reaction, when my aunt's like, what? Mm-hmm. Me? What? Like, like me? What? Like, what you talking uh, about? You Ooh, we we, we was just cuddling last night. Like, right. you not even... T- Man, and that's another just, thing, Safari. Uh, women get defensive. So you like bring that something like, yeah, up, you won't be yeah. like, "Well, uh, I, but I, that, that, you know, like, uh, uh-huh. yeah, like, you, what you talking I, about? Yeah, I'm not uh, this, I'll but what about you? You didn't take the trash out last night, oh, yeah. and yeah. then we send an argument about the trash, and mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what? Oh, fuck so it. this will be proper. Let's do it the okay. proper way. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. You gotta say, say Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still like, okay, what? No, okay, no. Right. just say it one more time. Because yeah, you know you gotta hear it three times yeah. now. Say it one more time. This show, this is your second time. So, first attempt, I was defensive. Mm. I closed you off. Right. We started arguing about trash. Okay. Round right. two. 
Round two, round two, round two. I know we said this before, but um, I just want you to know that, like, holding you is like really important to me. Like, I love you, you know what I'm saying? But you just won't let me hold you. Like, what? What's what's the deal? That's so sweet. I never noticed. Okay, so you want you want to cuddle more? Yeah, I want to cuddle more. Or do you more. want to like hold hands uh, more? All that shit. Like okay. I don't touch you enough unless we fucking like I want to touch you more when we look at the TV. Like I want to okay. touch you more after we have sex. Like when we look at whatever. Like when we out, you know. what I'm saying? I want to hold your hand. You pull your hand away. Like he wants the spoon. Okay. I want a well, spoon. Yeah, all this stuff. Well, babe, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to feel like I'm I'm you know distant or anything. You right. Know? In my past relationships, I just. You know, I just got used to being alone. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, I never really got close to somebody. Yeah. Because I guess I wasn't even that close to them, you know? So, I've just mm -hmm. never done this before. So, oh, damn. yeah. That's messed up. See? Well, did, you, good. You, that was good role play. Good role play. But you were the real nigga now, so you ain't got to worry about that shit. Ben, you yeah, we kind of like, 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 what? what? Let me <laughs> break it down. What is a real nigga? <laughs> because everybody said it. <laughs> I swear, everybody, everybody said that out, like, I'm trying to figure out, what is it? Me, goddammit, how about that? Him. We, we, we cuddling, we cuddling over here, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, get some Fe foot rubs, back rubs. Right, get all them other all dudes, that. you know what I mean? So well, whoever hurts you. We don't want to cuddle all day. Women don't want to okay, just cuddle all day. Some women. Some, some women don't want to cuddle all day. I don't want to cuddle all day either. This is just a scenario. Yeah, <laughs> Aaron's like actually. I think Aaron's like a low-key color, I'm a whole, Aaron's a low-key color. I, look. He is so sweet, y'all. He's a sweet person. If you got your tooth tied, he is for you. Yeah. If your tooth tied, like yeah, because your tooth got tied. So funny. So yeah, but yeah, um, uh, I'm a, I'm a hold. The, the two things you'll always get with me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna feed you and I'm gonna hold you. So feed you and hold. Mm -hmm. And feed, hold you. Feed right. and hold. I want to go back. And feed you. I want to mm -hmm. go back to reflect on our scenario, right? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Key things that happen. Mm -hmm. One. I acknowledge that you were feeling some type of way. Yeah. So I said, you said I'm sorry. Damn, you feel, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry you feel that way. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm, not, I'm not trying to yeah. make you feel that way. Mm -hmm. So boom, he's validated. Right. Then I opened up because mm -hmm. he just opened you up to me. You acknowledge my feeling. I you acknowledge love your feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he just said something that took courage. So I'm going to return the favor, uh -huh. which is saying that, honestly, I've never really gotten that close to somebody. You got real. vulnerable. And, you know, I, I, I've I had my wall. Not yeah. even that I've had my wall up, but other guys really didn't care about me that much. So they mm. probably wasn't that close. They didn't care they about didn't care. cuddling me. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. That's just what it was. Yeah. So then he's, his natural reaction was like, Empathy. Dang. Empathy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Know the, yeah, yeah. Empathy. You promoted empathy. Yes. You reflected back and mm -hmm. said, damn, that sucks. Damn, that's messed up. What about so the now men that, that can't do that and that are... That's a that's a question I had for her. That is the emotional, emotional um, unavailable men. Why yes. is it so many? Oh, and my shirt says emotional, emotionally unavailable established. Oh, there we go. Mm, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, All right. These will be on my plug. website. Soon. Real, real quick, real quick. I think there's a high amount of un emotional unavailable women also. Mm -hmm. But let's start with the guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, um, Safari was just asking me, like, what, ha what, what do you do in a relationship when you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable? Mm -hmm. I hear that so, like SpongeBob. I just, I just, I don't know. Here's I can't the thing that sucks. Okay. Like, when you are an emotionally intelligent person, mm -hmm. it is so hard to be in a, another relationship with someone who is not emotionally intelligent. Right. So, Painful. one... It's painful, yeah. you know. It really is it really because is. someone's not able to do what Aaron just did. Say that, like somebody's not even able to say, "Damn, that sucks." Mm -hmm. No empathy, mm -hmm. you know. And I think what you could do is you have to just be like real, like, "Hey, I've kind of noticed that you're a little distant. Um, are you like, how do you feel about expressing your emotions?" Mm -hmm. And they're going to like, "What you mean?" <laughs> yeah, do yeah, one. Like, like, yeah, like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, what are you, what are you saying? About? Yeah, he's like, gonna play some Chuck Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like,